Hi, it's Dr. Justin Marcajani here. There's another study that just came out in the last month on organic food. And this is really important, especially in the functional medicine slash natural health world. So again, what's the deal with organic food? If you remember about two years ago, Stanford put on a big study, um, looking a big meta-analysis, looking at about 220 different studies. And what the results of those studies were, they found that there was increased pesticide residue in the conventional crops. In other words, the organic food had less pesticide chemicals. Now that unto itself is great because if you go into the scientific literature and just type in organochlorines or various pesticides and you look, there's all kinds of deleterious effects because these, these uh, pesticides are estrogen mimickers or xenoestrogens. They can affect our hormones, they can affect detoxification, they can even be a strong stimulator for autoimmune disease. And a lot of these pesticides, if you look, they're even labeled as carcinogenic. So why would you ever want to put carcinogenic compounds on your food? And when we look at these pesticides, one of the biggest problems with the research is they're not looking at the interaction between lots of different pesticides accumulating in your daily life. So what if we get some of these pesticides over here, some rodenticides, some herbicides, some fungicides, and then we put it in an oven, we actually cook it. What happens with the interaction of heat? So there's so many different variables that can never be looked at because it would just cost so much money and take so much time to do it. But we can look at things with logic and reason and common sense and say, hey, we know there's lower residue of pesticides in these organic foods. And we know there's a lot of literature out there showing a lot of negative things regarding pesticides, cancer, um, infertility, hormone issues, enough, I feel, to stay away from it. Plus, if you look at the history uh, of pesticides up into 1950, there wasn't anything known as organic food. All food was organic until 50s, 1950s came about, that's where pesticides were produced. And they were typically produced from the remnants of the NPK fertilizers that were used to make bombs during World War II. So we had all this supply of, of NPK from making bombs, what are we gonna do with it? So various agrophysicists used it instead of having to pay millions to, to uh, essentially dispose of it, they can make millions on it. So again, we definitely want to, just from this study, even though they said there was no nutrient difference, I personally don't buy that, but in this study, maybe it was cherry-picked in a way where that's what the outcome was. Even if there was no nutrient difference, they still found an increased pesticide residue on the conventional one. So there's enough motivation right there to want to go eat the organic foods. Again, newest study, British Journal of Nutrition 2014. Again, they did about 320 different study meta-analysis. And what they found was, again, the same thing, higher pesticide residue on the conventional crops. So more motivation to avoid the conventional crops there. On the organic, they found increased antioxidants. So things such as broccoli, we have sulforaphane, which are known to increase um, hormone metabolism and help to be an anti-cancer antioxidant, anti-cancer nutrients. Again, Poly, uh, bioflavonoids, uh, polyphenols, these are all incredibly important. Science is just kind of, you know, hitting just the, just the, the tip of the spear and, and figuring out what some of the benefits in these polyphenol and various antioxidants are, but they help with stress and they help with reactive oxygen species, which can damage our DNA. Otherwise, free radicals. It helps neutralize and quelch free radicals. So again, we have some benefits. We have decreased pesticides. We have increased antioxidants. And one last important thing, they also found increased heavy metals in the conventional. They found cadmium. And again, this is really important because cadmium, if you just go into PubMed and you just Google cadmium and thyroid or cadmium and adrenals, cadmium is very, very bad for the thyroid gland. It can affect iodine absorption. It can be a big stress on the body and it can also affect the adrenal. So there's a, a thyroid adrenal connection here. And I think this alone is, is excellent to know because increased antioxidants, well, that's even better. And the fact that we're avoiding these heavy metals that can affect our thyroid and our adrenal, that's important. So again, my recommendations are one, eat organic. Not all organic is created equal. If you go to Walmart, and you're eating organic that maybe is to a lower standard than your local farmer would in your town, there's a difference. If you're eating organic that's five or six days old versus maybe a 
um, a locally produced conventional product, you may actually have better value in the conventional product that's local. Again, you'll still have less pesticides, but you may actually have more nutrients. So you have to look at nutrients with a grain of salt, right? Old organic produce may not have as much nutrition as fresh conventional produce, but you're still going to have less pesticides. Also, we're not factoring in GMOs. GMOs are typically um, sprayed with the compound known as Roundup or glyphosate. And glyphosate's a chelator. It pulls out minerals. So its job of killing various weeds is to pull out and bind up minerals. So if it's binding up the minerals and it's got the minerals, then the minerals aren't going to be in the plant. So we know that GM crops more than likely by the Roundup glyphosate mechanism are already going to have less minerals. So again, we're not even counting in GMOs there. Uh, we're not even counting in our local produce. So my my recommendation is try to eat as local as possible. Some Whole Foods and organic grocery stores do take in local produce, so uh, the more local the better. If you can't get local or you can't get fresh food, you know, frozen is always a good second. Just make sure it's decently local, not coming in from other countries that may have lower organic standards. Again, foods up until 1950, there was no such thing as organic. So the fact that organic may be a fad it, we're not looking at the history of how we evolved, which 1950 on, all food was organic. So we have to remember the organic label isn't the same where we go. Walmart and Target, there's about 200 different organic labels. They all aren't the same. Try to eat the highest quality food. Try to know your farmer and where you're getting your food from. And again, we have science backing us up, and there are even other studies out there that show that they even have more vitamin C and more nutrients as well. So we're just starting to see more of this research come to the surface. And let's try to apply it and reduce our toxicity levels and improve our antioxidants. All well, this is Dr. Justin signing off. Feel free and subscribe below and there'll be more videos coming your way. Thanks. Take care.